How does this square? How does this square with the things that you heard at the Republican convention? What's the difference in what I told you and what they said? How do you square it? You can't. One is real, the other is made up. And you just have to decide. You just have to decide which is which, my fellow Americans. The real one had done more positive change making before she was 30 than many public officials do in a lifetime in office. The real one, the real one, if you saw her friend Betsy Evelyn vote for Illinois today, has friends from childhood through Arkansas, where she has not lived in more than 20 years, who have gone all across America at their own expense to fight for the person they know. The real one has earned the loyalty, the respect, and the fervent support of people who have worked with her in every stage of her life, including leaders around the world who know her to be able, straightforward, and completely trustworthy. The real one calls you when you're sick, when your kid's in trouble, or when there's a death in the family. The real one repeatedly do praise from prominent Republicans when she was a senator and secretary of state. So what's up with this? Well, if you win elections on the theory that government is always bad and will mess up a two-car parade, a real change maker represents a real threat. So, your only, op your only option is to create a cartoon, a cartoon alternative. Then run against the cartoon. Cartoons are two-dimensional. They're easy to absorb. Life in the real world is complicated, and real change is hard. And a lot of people even think it's boring. Good for you, because earlier today, you nominated the real one. <laughs>